Four Presidents Who Faced Impeachment Only three previous U.S. presidents have ever faced impeachment. Firstly, Andrew Johnson, the 17th President of the United States in 1868. Then, Richard Nixon, the 37th President, faced impeachment in 1973. However, Richard Nixon resigned before he could be impeached. Then came Bill Clinton, the 42nd President in 1998. Which brings us to current events. Donald Trump, the 45th president, now follows in their footsteps and faces impeachment. However, no sitting president has ever been convicted. Clinton and Johnson were both acquitted, and Nixon resigned before trial. So what comes next for Trump? Stay tuned to find out. Former President Andrew Johnson The impeachment of Andrew Johnson was initiated on February 24, 1868 when the United States House of Representatives resolved to impeach Andrew Johnson, the 17th President of the United States, for high crimes and misdemeanors, which were detailed in 11 articles of impeachment. The primary charge against Johnson was violation of the Tenure of Office Act. Johnson became the first American president to be impeached on March 3, 1868, when the House formally adopted the articles of impeachment and forwarded them to the United States Senate for adjudication. On May 16th, the Senate failed to convict Johnson on one of the articles, with the 35-19 to 19 vote in favor of conviction falling short of the necessary two-thirds majority by a single vote. A 10-day recess was called before attempting to convict him on additional articles. The delay did not change the outcome, however, as on May 26th it failed to convict the President on two articles, both by the same margin, after which the trial was adjourned. Former President Richard Nixon the impeachment process against Richard Nixon began in the United States House of Representatives on October 30, 1973, following the Saturday Night Massacre episode of the Watergate scandal. Richard Nixon, the 37th President of the United States, would face impeachment for high crimes and misdemeanors under Article 2, Section 4 of the United States Constitution. Nixon would face charges of obstruction of justice relating to the cover-up of the Watergate break-in and abuse of power. On August 5, 1974, Nixon released a transcript of one of the additional conversations to the public, known as the Smoking Gun Tape, which made clear his complicity in the Watergate cover-up. Reaction to this disclosure was swift. He lost the support of his most loyal defenders in Congress. Republican congressional leaders met with and told Nixon that both his impeachment and his conviction were inevitable. Thereupon, Nixon gave up the struggle to remain in office, resigning the presidency on August 9, 1974. Former President Bill Clinton The impeachment of Bill Clinton was initiated on October 8, 1998, when the United States House of Representatives voted to commence impeachment proceedings against Bill Clinton, the 42nd President of the United States, for high crimes and misdemeanors, lying under oath and obstruction of justice. The charges stemmed from a sexual harassment lawsuit filed against Clinton by Paula Jones and from Clinton's testimony denying that he had engaged in a sexual relationship with White House intern Monica Lewinsky. The catalyst for the president's impeachment was the Star Report, a September 1998 report prepared by independent counsel Ken Starr. On December 19, 1998, Clinton became the second American president to be impeached. When the House formally adopted two articles of impeachment, a trial in the Senate began in January 1999 with Chief Justice William Rehnquist presiding. On February 12th, Clinton was acquitted on both accounts as neither received the necessary two-thirds majority vote. Clinton remained in office for the remainder of his second term. President Donald Trump the impeachment of Donald Trump, the 45th President of the United States, occurred on December 18, 2019, when the House of Representatives approved articles of impeachment on charges of abuse of power and obstruction of Congress. Donald Trump's impeachment came after a formal House inquiry found that he had solicited foreign interference in the 2020 U.S. presidential election to help his re-election bid and then obstructed the inquiry itself by telling his administration officials to ignore subpoenas for documents and testimony. The president is accused of withholding military aid to pressure Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky to start a corruption investigation into Biden and his son Hunter.
On December 13th, the vote was 23 to 17 along party lines to recommend two articles of impeachment for abuse of power and obstruction of Congress. The articles were submitted to the Senate on January 16th, 2020, initiating the trial. This made Trump the third U.S. president in history to be impeached and the only president ever to be impeached in his first term in office. While the legal proceedings begin to heat up, we can be assured that this will drag on for a long time. Whatever the outcome of the trial, it is certain that the opposition will make every effort to use this instability to unseat the president, or at the very least, try to block a second term in office. Is the president guilty as charged? Will this case cause Donald Trump to resign before charges can be laid? Will he continue to a second term in office? Or will he be the first sitting president since the founding of the United States to be found guilty by the U.S. Senate and be removed from power? Only time will tell. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like this video, subscribe, and turn on your notifications for more in the future. And I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.